to our supplies, to our wants and not our needs. This is very challenging right here. God tests us with blessings. He tests us. Oh, man, I can tell you, that's a good one. Oh, my God, that's a funny story. Okay, I'll tell you this. So I was at work. It happened recently. It was so funny. My God, this is so funny. I was at work, right? And I was working, and, 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 I, and I found 100 bucks. Hey, cool. I'm going to give my oil change. I'm going to give my oil change. You know? I'm going to give my oil change. I didn't want to know. I get paid a few weeks. I'm going to give my oil change. So got the money in my pocket, riding around. Go talk to a co-worker. He goes, hey, look what's over there. The same hundred dollars that came in my pocket. He picked it up. Yeah, I found a hundred bucks. I'm like, now that's my hundred dollars <laughs> that I found. Do you trust money or do you trust me? I sat back. I could have went in my flesh, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I could have gotten my flesh. Like, you better give me my hundred dollars. Remember how the Bible says, when you owe somebody ten dollars, his other eight thousand he growling. So that was my test right there. And I just sat back and I said, you know what, God? If it's your will, you'll give it to me. If not, it's your will. And I tell you, I was mad, y'all. I'm gonna get my oil changed. I didn't want to pay no money. I'll be out there. I did not want to pay no money. Y'all think I'm lying. I did not oil change. I didn't want to spend nothing, no, nothing to eat. I just wanted to not pay my oil change. Y'all may think it's funny, but I'm, get, I'm, I'm, I'm making yeah. a point. I didn't trust in that money. Now, I, I still got to pray for me because I still got to work with that brother. So pray for me. Pray for me because <laughs> still on my hundred dollars. But uh, it's in God's hands. What am I saying? It's so important because if you go back to my I'll go back to my first job because I got to get personal with you guys. I'm a groundskeeper by trade. My first job was a custodian. They know what I'm about to go to. My first job was a custodian. I don't know if we had the same employer, but I'm just throwing things out there. I don't, I don't, they still talking about employees. So I was making seven, seven fifty an hour. My first job cleaning warehouses. Disgusting. I was in there cleaning 12 toilets of men, 8 toilets of women. I mean, it was disgusting. But I was preaching the gospel. Preaching Jesus inside there, making seven. 50. From there, went to, Chafee, went to another school, made seven twenty five. took a 25 cent decrease. Then from there, God blessed me to go to a school that somebody else in here may have worked at. <laughs> and they paid me nine bucks an hour. And they slaved me and paid me nine bucks an hour. Slaved me so much, they let me go, y'all. They let, they, they let me go and pray for me. You ever been fired and prayed for it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been fired and prayed for at the same time, and they walked me out to my locker. It had a bag, you know. He prayed for me. I'm like, you, you, you crazy? Just let me. They prayed for God, open doors. I said, Jesus. Two months later, that prayer worked. So I got a job at a major university, and I made three more dollars more. So they fired me and prayed for me. Yeah, I opened yeah. the door. Church, you gotta go. Follow me here. Follow me, please. So from there, this major university. Loved it. Thirteen fifty. Had another raise, and they slayed me to death, y'all. I worked so hard, I was cutting saw all kind of stuff. I had, I, I put, uh, what's it called? I had, uh, I, I put two brine muscles, two of them. I'm walking like this with ice packs, you know, just like Pastor Sal, walking two ice packs, y'all hurt. God bless. In the midst of me being hurt, another job called me to pay me more. <laughs> In this career, God has blessed me to be a yeah. part of a union, to learn more things, be wiser in my money and my spending. They asked me, DeAndre, why are you so faithful in ministry? Why are you so faithful going to banning back and forth? Church, I used to, every day was 12 hours a day. I used to wake up at 5 a.m., come home at 5 p.m. I used to work baseball season 5 a.m. till 12 a.m. It's almost 16 hours, 18 hours. I worked 16 days straight for the man. Then say no days off. And you think I'm going to let up for God? The devil is a lie. Yeah, the devil's a lie. See, we like to talk about things, but you don't know. Yes. You don't know why a person got to drive. My drive is because I thank God I'm not.